Welcome to Two Talk Two. Kirsten May, President of UL. Can you start by telling me who most inspires you and why? Hello, Jim. I'm most inspired by the doctors and nurses who are battling against COVID-19 pandemic, who work tirelessly and selflessly to save lives and to protect people and who have made big sacrifices to serve their country over the past year. And of course, you're, you're producing some of those uh, uh, professionals in, in your university there. If you were to change one thing in universities or in higher education generally, what, what would that be? I would replace the currently predominantly linear and front-loaded model of ed education with flexible lifelong learning approaches where one can move in and out of higher education as needed, underpinned by a citizen's lifetime education allowance that support free hi higher education for a duration between six and seven years, which would be sufficient to attain a cumulative master's. And do you think that's, that's feasible, say, within the next decade or so? I think it is a needed approach in order to support people to contribute to the knowledge society and to cope um, and co uh, contribute to the rapid changes of society of science and technology. We all have to learn uh, through our life. So then a few quick fire questions. The, the most recent book you've read? Hong Kong's The White Book. What's that uh, about? It's a book about life and death by a Korean author. It's very poetic. Your favourite movie of all time? The Piano by Jane Campion. A, a fantastic movie. And I know you're a techno music fan, but if you were to choose between dancing to techno music and doing the walls of Limerick, what would it be? It has to be dancing to techno. <laughs> no surprise there. Finally, Kirsten, your motto for life. Yes, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated, as Maya Angelou said. On that inspiring note, Kirsten May, thank you for doing Two Talk Two. Thank you, Jim.